guess this thing is going on. I was quite, uh, <clears throat> quite crushed yesterday. Um, I wasn't drinking then. Um, my camera seems to be working too perfect, so I don't know if it's recording or not. But anyways, I'm just going to make it anyway. Um, yeah, I was... Uh, <laughs> bloody hell on this person is all I had to say. Um, he's from England. Uh, he was coming to visit the United States. Um, I had been a friend to him for, um, I don't know, about 10 years now. We met in the Wine Lovers chat room in Yahoo back, I don't know, probably two, the year 2000. <laughs> yes, I was drinking back then, believe me. It's been, I've been drinking quite a while. Um... Yeah, so I was kind of crushed, and, um, so he's like, Tiff, hey Tiff, uh, I'm going to come down to the United States for once, and I'm like, oh, cool, cool, and he's like, but have you been drinking, um, I'm like, <laughs> well, actually, I, I ain't going to say nothing on this one, because, uh, you know, I'm on probation, uh, but, um, you know. Well, I can't say it because I did fail a test and it was okay with my probation. So, yes, I have been drinking. He's like, well, you can't. If you're going to be like this, I don't want nothing to do with you. Uh, I'm not coming to visit you. Fuck this, you fuck twat, bitch, you know, blah, yada, yada. And, I, and he's not like the only one that I've had this problem with. And um, it, it's just, it's an ongoing thing. Uh, off and on, yes. I mean, people need to see this as a disease. I know we say outlandish things, but I, I mean, if I come and apologize and say, you know, I don't know, man. I'm just speaking as an alcoholic. <clears throat> and I don't know how to speak for an alcoholic because it, it, alcoholism... Being an alcoholic, it's just the wrong thing totally, and um, but it's but yet it's a disease. So it's like no matter what, you can't make anything right. And um, and that's why you know people with cirrhosis, you know, they just see you as scum, and you're just gonna die because. You're a piece of shit. They ain't gonna support you and they ain't gonna give you that liver that you need because you're a fucking fuck up. And it's why I can't get on medication. I'm still waiting on medication. And uh, I think I am maintaining my cool for what I've been going through, man. You gotta give me that. But, um, for people that are gonna cross me and lay me flat. And make me feel like more pieces of shit than I already do because I'm a damn... Just, you know, I'm a fucking drunk, okay? I'm an alcoholic. As my friend would say, Miss Julie in Pennsylvania. <laughs> she told me to make a shout out for so I'm doing that. Miss Julie, you gave me that quote of, uh, I'm not an alcoholic, I'm just a sober phobic. Well, you got that right. <laughs> I am a sober phobic. I hate being sober. Life to me is just a bunch of bullshit, and um, I'm not going to say that alcohol makes it better because it don't, but you get to the point where you just don't fucking care anymore. You don't, I mean, I, I sit in these AA classes, and I'm like, who am I kidding? I mean, I've been an alcoholic for so long, and not just your average drinker on the weekends. I mean, I've been hardcore for about 10, 11 years now. When I started drinking, I started drinking. I didn't drink all day. I didn't necessarily drink. It doesn't even matter what I drink, you know. I just, I, the situation I am in now is, I'm just going to talk about it now. It's just. I can't become sober. I know I can't. Um, never say never, I know. I just, 
I'm a, I'm a, on the cusp of um, you know I got cirrhosis at 28. I mean that doesn't leave much time to make up and uh, get over this stuff, you know. And, um, oh, Josh, I was laying in her, laying in her. I've never seen her do that. She that was the um, yeah. Let's change the subject. That was um, that little pillow, I, that little bed I got for her, and I, this is my first time laying in. I'll be damned. <laughs> but I mean, don't just if I say something and I'm drunk. I mean, just take it as that. I mean, that's how my friends have lasted. My my longest lasting friends is they just accept. Well, they don't just accept because, you know, I get trouble from them too sometimes. Uh, but they come around. I mean, they stick around. And that's when you know, and that's how you know your best buddies, uh, who they are. And I love each and every one of you. There's very few of you, but I cherish. And you all know that I cherish you when I talk to you, when I spend time with you, when I get the chance, you know. And that is what, to me, um, that's little, <laughs> that, actually that's far from little, that is, that's life. And uh, I cherish that. And <sighs> I'm just, get over yourselves, people. I mean, if you think you're so better than me, then go, get your badass self down the street because I'm not welcome, and frankly, with your attitudes like that, I don't want to be welcome. And I'm going to end it with that. Thank you very much. Tiffany Joanne McSwain signing out, a.k.a. Lady Anarchy, and always will be. <laughs> always be that alcoholic drunk. <laughs> but love me anyway, because deep down underneath this pain, I love you. Take care.